prompt system in Circuits V2. First of all, you want to open your watch menu, go to this room, settings, general setup, second page, click allow creator tools beta, and click apply settings. After that, press OK, and your room will save. After that, grab out your maker pen, which you can find it in the backpack section of your maker pen and press use. Alternatively, if you favorite it, you can grab it from your back. After that, you can see we have circuits V2 enabled. For our basic prompt system, I'm going to grab a button V2. And I'm also going to grab a prompt local player. After that, I'm going to grab a text V2. After that, you can wire the complete and the response into there. If I wire this into there, go into the prompt, I can name, I can say enter message. Now if I press this button, I get a prompt that says enter message, be nice. I can say test. Now there's a basic prompt system. For a more advanced system, we can still use these. But we can grab a log screen, which, did they add it here yet? They didn't, that's great. Uh, dynamic? In the future, it will be moved to gadgets v, uh, circuits v2 gadgets, but if I place this here, and I wire this to there, and I grab a string format, string format, and then a log string. I want to grab, I'm also going to wire this failed into the start of the prompt. So if the player fails the prompt somehow, then, actually, no, you don't need to do that, because you can't really fail the prompt uh, easily. Now, if I grab a two string, two string, and I take this player output to here, if I type in squiggly bracket zero, squiggly bracket, and then I put squiggly bracket one, squiggly bracket, whatever's put into this first slot, we'll, pu we'll put into the zero. So this will show the player name, and this will show the prompt. After that, you can do that, and then if I configure this, I can one, show timestamps, and also change the channels, which you can change whatever color channel you want to send to in here. So now, if I press this, I'll get a prompt, and I'll say, test. Now, it says that Orion said test. Now, you can change this prompt to be whatever you want, which any text that isn't in a squiggly bracket, um will work and show on the log screen uh, as that as you can see the uh, two dots or semicolon whatever it's called um, it's right there there and it's shown there and since this one is the prompt because it's wired into this one and the zero is the player so anybody presses this will then get a prompt and it'll send it over this can be used for many different things um, like you can set uh, values like floats um, using a um, parse like parse bool, um, a uh, parse int, parse float, all those chips, and you can uh, you can use it to set a value using a prompt. As always, enjoy your CV2 creating.